Yo, what is up guys? In this video, I'm going to be showing you some things that the coalition did not add into Gears 5. Due to them having some issues, I'm guessing they didn't want too many weapons into the game. I wished the unreleased weapons were kept in private matches, just like the Hammer of Dawn is, I believe. So this first map is called 2v2 Rail Junction. This map was supposed to be for 2v2s, obviously by the name. Um, for some reason, I don't know the command to add bots. Uh, if, I would say if anyone knows, drop it down in the comments. I tried everything. I thought it was going to be the same as my as the Gears 3 version where you just do, where it's like question mark, bots equals 9. But um, I'm guessing things changed for this version. So this is supposed to be a 2v2 map. One thing I do like is this hallway as you're able to just bounce around, which would have been nice for some 1v1s in this hallway, I believe. And if you come to this location, you can see we're like in a lift area and down here, it's just blocked off. All right, so that was, that was first map. Um, sucks I couldn't add bots in here because I wanted to see how it would have played out. But Ooh. next map, you guys will might actually like. All right, this map is Impact from Gears of War 4. Again, I don't know how to do the bot commands, so I just decided to do word mode. I won't lie, this map looks amazing in Gears 5. I just don't get why they didn't add it into the game. I actually don't even know why they didn't add it to the game. As you can see, um, let me see if I can find it. They have those taps from Horde. It's strange because this map has energy taps and that didn't show up until Gears 5. I'm guessing they they made this map compatible for this game. They just didn't release it. Time's up. I'm pretty sure if I'm on this, it starts He's to get attack. yeah, it keeps. I mean, it's able to Always spawn. Cap was able to spawn. And it's literally just a copy and paste from Gears 4. But even then, this is a whole free map for this game. That could have been released. Targets down. Even if I, I know there's no snipers here because I'm on horde mode. But whenever I do multiplayer, all the, uh, all the loadouts are there. Like the whole snipe, the, uh, the bus kill. Is in this location. The ensigns. Like you would think as this being a hidden map, there would be issues to like to it. Okay, so I have four different guns to show you guys. So first, we're gonna be with a uh, Valero real quick. I'm able to use these weapons in a custom match. So if you guys would like to see me use them against uh, a couple of my friends, just to mess around with the Bushka or Ink Grenade, uh, let me know in the comments below. All right, so the Bushka was, I don't even know how I'm saying it right or not, but this gun, was never released in Gears 4, Gears 3, Gears like all the past Gears but Judgment. Last, actually last scene of this gun was in Gears 5 in one of their trailers. I'm not gonna lie though, um, 
this gun shoots like the Lancer GL or about the rockets where it shoots it. The only difference is this one shoots three. Three at once. You can't just shoot one. And I actually don't know how to use this. Like, it's actually so broken. Not in a good way, though. Wait, I actually killed that guy. Alright, I okay, listen. I always miss I always miss my shots. As you can see, this gun is like I'm guessing to stop people that I just can. And there's actually no um, execution. I feel like they could have just copied and used the boom shot executions for this gun instead of making a full new ones. Look, like I'm holding the execution button and nothing happens. The next gun is a ink grenade, which was last seen in Gears of War Judgment as well. Gears 4 didn't have this, nor Gears 5, but it is fully working in this game. All it's missing is some dialogues. So whenever they like ink out, ink, incoming ink type of thing. It, it also has the ink grenade sound. And I won't lie, I've seen the ink grenade, um, if you guys follow me on Twitter, I posted a video of me using the ink grenade on Gears 4. And in Gears 4, it looks like the ink grenade was a prototype, like they were testing on it to see how it would be on Gears 4, because it did not look good, I'm literally going to say that. But on this one, it has, it has more detail on the ink and the ink stains. All right, next up, it's, um, you guys might have seen it earlier with Valera, but it's going to be the Gorgon pistol and the boom shield. As you can see, the, as you can see, the Gorgon pistol has no audio effects, but whenever I shoot, there's literally no sound to it. <laughs> the animation when reloading as, um, uh, with the, with the boom shield looks funny. I'm not gonna lie. Now the question is, am I able to place it down? So it's able to block shots. But I wanna see if I'm able to block this. Yep. And as you can see, the textures are wrong. This game actually has an animation for kicking this thing down. Which is kind of nice, I won't lie. Seeing this shield is insane. Like, it reminds me back of the Gears 3 days. One last thing that I could show is something that was removed completely from the game, which they actually promised us. TC promised us for a map editor for Versus. I was able to open up the original Versus map editor, and I can see why they didn't release it. It was the most broken thing ever. Um, there's like so many errors to it. But I ended up finding a free-for-all map editor that actually is working perfectly. So, for example, this is War Room. As you can see, this is a FFA maker right here. So, as you can see, this is where you can make custom maps for Free For All, which would be actually amazing. I know there's a bunch of content creators out there on Twitch, uh, mostly Domes, that I know he hosts monthly FFA tournaments. So imagine if this was out, this man could be making FFA maps every month just to keep the content going.
So for example, So imagine, right, you try to spawn this location and then there's more to it, like this. Like this itself, imagine a map of FFA with this thing included. I know it's too late for Coalition to add this into here, which I feel like is just pretty simple. Making a new tab and naming it FFA editor and it has a command to do this. But I know it's late for it. They're all focused up for gear six and let's hope and pray that this function is not only for FFA and gear six, that there's this for FFA, uh, any type of game mode for versus. All right, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and made it this far. TC, if you're watching this, uh, please don't ban me. Thanks. TC, if you're watching this, you guys have my Twitter and obviously my email. So just message me if you guys want me to take this video down, which I don't really see anything bad to it, but at the end of the day, it's up to you guys. Please no ban. Peace.